glad this turned into a water park for giant Goombas, I guess. Here we go again. Somehow I don't think we're going to get there very quickly. Mario is happy for Beepo. He gets a bonus attack. Ah. Cherub activated. Sorry, I'm, I mean, I'm referencing an earlier XCOM game with a later XCOM game. Attack is against enemy super effects. So if you really just don't want to get, get criticaled, So now we have special abilities. What shall we do with them, I wonder? Oh! Huh. I guess if we're like getting low and we're worried about failing one of the conditions, this might be like a once per chapter thing. We have money. Let's spend it. There we go. That should do for now. Primary technique, hero sight. So it's a bonus action shot for 80% damage. Oh no, it's an overwatch. <laughs> Mario gets an overwatch. Of course Mario gets an overwatch. They phrase it as outside the normal succession of events. And so it's like, so a bonus action or no, but it's an overwatch. It's a reaction attack. This shield reduces. Okay, so shields herself. Movement damage reduction, as in like movement attacks, that kick. All right. It's not a lot of reduction, though. But it does... okay. Alright, I'm seeing... Who do we gotta deal with? Kaziki, which is just kind of the average regular guy. And we have a Hopper, which loves the whole team jump thing. Oh, it's the only one that can do a team jump. I think? Hoppers might only... hmm. But they have a dash. 
Oh, okay, so Ziggy's have a dash attack. They like to go in for melee. Hoppers have team jump. Okay. Okay. They only have some of the abilities we have. We have all of these abilities. Gotcha. And we do not have a great deal of cover to start out, but they are some of them behind explosive barrels, so we shall take advantage. here. Nice. Pushed right out of the arena. No. It does have a cooldown. Two turn cooldown. Don't think so. Hero Sight extends that far. Yeah, sure. That'll do it. Nicely done. Rabbit Luigi cannot catch a break. As in, cannot catch a break. not actually work well for us. Hmm. Only having one person who can do Overwatch makes reactive tactics a little interesting. Let's just get closer and try and get Rabbit Luigi out of the line of fire. Okay, it does... As you move the cursor around, it will show you like what your percentages will be to hit anyone you can see. That's pretty good. Oh, hello. That's incredibly good. We will go ahead and do Super Barrier. We'll go ahead and take a shot. And do our own shield, because now she is out in the open. Okay, does absorb some of the damage. Acceptable. And go ahead and just take the shot. Burn is potentially very good. I 
I imagine that getting perfect on a mission is gonna get a lot more difficult very quickly. Oh, there was a pipe here that we could have taken. I did not notice these. That could have helped in any number of ways. So sometimes, full-size covers might also be barrels. Good times. We have problems right out of the gate. That is acceptable. Yes, thank you. All right, you take the side. Okay, so critical chance is where you get your real XCOM RNG. That's where the, that that's where they decided to put it. Potentially. Oh yeah, Mario time. Down you go. All right, these bouncers are going to have a going to be a problem. And these pipes. And they all really want Rapid Luigi to go down. Just to hurt my ranking, I'm sure. Do I just go for it? I think I do. don't actually want to get behind those because those are explosive. But getting behind and farther away from these guys. Oh, right. Out of movement range. What was I thinking? Alright. This, however... Instant flank. Probably take care of the one that actually is up so that that action goes away immediately. And you probably just do super barrier just in case, because they seem to hate you. There they go. Well, that was prescient enough. All right, let's try something. All right, not so much. Nope, not like that. Other way. All right, even they're not dumb enough to go directly behind the barrels this time. Ooh, 
We got this. Starting to feel the rhythm, the rhythm of the night. Welcome to the jungle, we've got fun and games. Okay, there was a side path here. Starting to see. I'm starting to see it. How this thing goes. That could very well be Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle dot JPEG right there. Ah. The maze. Well, then, how am I supposed to get that coin game? All right, there. Well, I'm going to get them all because you're going to nickel and dime me on these weapons to death. Toilets are now canon to Mario. No, they've they're, they've clearly come from another world. They're not canon to anything. And besides, this Mario universe could very well just be a recreation from all the Mario memorabilia in the inventor's room being affected by the super merge. There's no actual guarantee that this is the real Mario universe to begin with. Oh. Great, they're gonna do a red coin challenge in the maze. Sounds wonderful. All right, so that's the beginning of chapter five. Which means everything else is... There we go. There's that good stuff. It's a weapon. For Rabbit Peach. And in this direction, there is a bridge. Got a coin for our shovels. Oh. Nice fake out game. Well done. Ah, uh, good. A useless treasure. I suppose we gotta actually go and do the thing. Yeah, if I can remember how to actually get there. What a good way to make players 
cool off before the next probably climactic chapter. Alright, we might as well battle HQ. Less damage, less all around. Yeah, no, the DLC weapon is here to stay. Actually, oh wait, no, everyone has. The list goes on. I didn't need to spend anything. And it's all better than what I got. And we'll save our money for when actually good things come around. What was I thinking? 